And good morning everyone from my off-grid base camp here in the high desert Sholo, Arizona area here today. Got a big day planned today. We are going to fill up camp officially. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for joining me here on the channel, guys. If you want to see more of what I'm going to be doing this summer here on the homestead, the off-grid property, please subscribe to my channel here and get all the updates. I'm going to try to put a video out every two or three days here on the channel and uh, continue to make things comfortable here at my camp. In order to make myself completely feel at home, though, we are missing a few things. Babe the Blue Box, my tiny house that's over on Kevin's property, we're getting that moved today here to the property. But first, we're getting something else on the property. Let's see, I think I hear a semi-truck coming down my road. Let's take a peek out here. Oh yeah. What's this? Heck yeah. <laughs> Got Jerry and Alyssa here bringing one of my sheds. Hey Jerry from White Mountain Shed Delivery. And that's probably Alyssa in the car over there. So they're gonna get this unloaded and we'll bring it onto the property where it's gonna sit. All right, so Jerry's taking the mule off the truck and then they also put wheels on the other end of it. They, get, they got a good system here. I'm gonna stand back and let them do their work here. That's a cool toy for moving. All right, he's hooking it and he's lifting it. And then he can just move it around the property on this and spare tires to get it to where I need it to be. And the tires go up, go. are gonna go up there and go in between those beams as well. Fancy. Jerry's going down the driveway here with it now. I'll follow behind him. Also, you'll notice that this is uh, quite a bit smaller than Babe the Blue Box. Uh, instead of a 10 by 20, this is a 12 by 8 across and a different style door, almost like a, almost like a barn door or a garage door. Now the Harley will fit in here, the bicycles will fit in here. I'm going to use this as a tool garage actually. I've never had a tool shed where, I, where I'm actually able to like store, you know, tall five drawer chests of tools and I have racks and pegboard for all my stuff. He's gonna scoot it back into the corner and uh, I don't want it all the way back there because I want this door right here to be visible. All right, they got some wedges. They're gonna level it here and get everything situated and then we're gonna go to Kevin's property and pick up Babe the Blue Box to go right there. All right, off to Kevin's to get Babe the Blue Box. Yeah! All right, we're here and uh, Felix is in my old spot. Uh, we gotta have him move temporarily so we can get the wheels and the rigs around this to move because that stump's kind of in the way and we need that space. So yeah, there's there's Felix's coachman Murata, similar to my old Murata. He knows how to drive her, that's for sure. All right, and there's Kevin. <laughs> it's the big day, man. It's a big day for me. <laughs> yeah, Kevin knows Alyssa and Jerry. He, he, he knows them well. They've moved all three of the, the sheds here on property a few times. All right, same process, but in reverse. They got the wheel chalk, whatever you call them to go on there. Get it out here on the main road and get it loaded up on the truck down the road a little bit. When you first buy a shed with the company down in Sholo, it's free delivery. It, it's included in the sale. Uh, if you want anything moved, they will move it from your property to a different spot in your property. And then you got it, they'll charge by the hour if you're moving it off property down the road, which was what I'm doing. So at least one hour labor included, but 180 bucks an hour, they are, they know what they're doing. All right, Jerry's gonna go to the front, got wheels on the back and scooter on out in reverse of how they put it in last year. It's coming around. Alyssa's picking some pokey stuff out of her shoe. Look at the bottom of the shoe. Yeah. Only a little bit in my foot. I'll show you, I'll show you what she stepped on. I never even saw this here, right outside where Babe the Blue Box was. A big juicy cacti. And they're turning the corner here. Felix, how much weight have you lost? Uh, when I got sick, I was 355. 
I'm 241. Oh, nice job, That's buddy. Bad. I love it. Yeah. You're looking good, man. It's a bad way to lose weight, but I'm not complaining. I know, man. But uh, I feel good. I feel good. Awesome, buddy. Proud of you. There we go. Babe, the blue box going on a new adventure down the road. <laughs> You know, when Jerry pulled down these roads and he's he's traveling with a, a shed mover that's empty, I wonder if we made anybody else around here worry if like they're behind payments or something. Here comes the repo, man. There's nothing on it. <laughs> they're going to be happy to see uh, uh, a the blue box loaded up and headed out of here and not theirs. <laughs> All right, they're off. They're leaving me behind. We're going to drive behind this road gets a little bumpy in places so it's it's latched down just like we're going on the main highway and everything so um yep we'll just take take her easy got a lot of stuff in there right now all right we're almost there just one more turn to go here it is dusty today he's doing a great job though it looks like it's a really smooth ride at least and babe the blue box is off the truck getting ready to wheel her on into the property here coming on into the property it's gonna be nice having everything here on site get it put into our spot over there that I had planned hopefully it'll fit at least there's lots of room out here to maneuver All right, well, they're uh, gonna work on getting it level now. It's sitting where I want it to sit. And uh, now they're gonna put in some wood shank things to level it. Oh, I'm so happy. Jerry, Alyssa, and Derek did so good leveling both that one and this one. I am tickled to death. For the first time in 11 years, everything I own is in one place, everything. Motorcycle, yeah, yeah, everything that I own is now right here with me. And for some reason, that is a strangely satisfying feeling. <laughs> so, uh, oh, well, let's address this. I'm sure a bunch of people are going to leave calm. Why'd you put it up so high? It's ridiculous, Eric. Thinking ahead. I'm thinking ahead, guys. I want it to be high enough, and, and I also want to point out that Babe the Blue Box has a better parking position than the RV. And that is done on purpose because I can't do it right now. But if we get up high enough, the best view is of the mountains and cliffs above these trees. So, you know, being up higher and having a deck right here, as well as if you want to do anything later, like run plumbing or water underneath, you're going to have to raise it up later. Let's just get it up to where I want it right now because I know one day there's going to be a toilet in the corner that hooks right in to that septic line right there. Okay, I know that. It's going to be running water and a toilet in here. So I can put skirting on and hide that. We'll have steps to get up in and out. And then uh, hear me out. Uh, eventually, on the back side over here, this section right here, this lean-to right here, will be a catio, a custom built spot that has a door right here for the kitties to come out and be outside and hang out outside with me in a protected area back here. Whew, what a day, I didn't even work. I'm, I'm exhausted by everything that's happening. Uh, it, but it, you know, it's like, it's like one of those things, life is not going to, to hand you things. It, it's not just gonna happen without some effort. You've got to put in some effort to make life happen. And uh, I'm really happy. I actually really, really like the color of, of this garage right here with the green roof, blue. Although it doesn't match the ground, babe, babe the blue box matches the blue sky. A lot of clouds in the sky today, but sunny, nice, excellent. Man, today felt like a really, really good, positive, right direction kind of day. Everything about today makes me feel better. I just, I can't, yeah, this is great. And can't remember if I mentioned we were putting this garage one here, it's there for a specific reason because when the cameras go on here in a future video, I want one to be able to see this door. If we put this too far back, we wouldn't be able to have eyes on this door right here. So, um, and as an extra bonus, 
I fixed the noise and problem that was going on with tater tot when we were in uh, Texas. So the body mounts, the lift pucks that are right there, those pucks right there, all four of them up front were loose. So I tightened them with a 13 millimeter wrench, thanks to some advice from a buddy Robert and Sean Fowler there, and the sound is gone. There's, and there's very, very little rubbing going on really. But one day I may make this a more aggressive cut and move this fender up to kind of match the back tire. And ironically, I've just been invited to go off-road camping. And I want to take tater tot. <laughs> so let me get a few things together and uh, yeah, start getting some projects done here at camp and uh, I'll cut back in here uh, later tonight. I've been sitting here editing my video and I got Tara right here loving on me. She loves laying up against my lap on the couch. I got some other junk I got to get off the couch so Opie will fit, but Tara's my editing queen. She just loves to be next to her daddy. You're such a good girl, Tara. You're so sweet. Yes, you are. Yeah. Oh, my girl. Yeah, big stretches. Good girl. Yeah. And of course, Opie's in daddy's captain's chair. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Opie's captain chair. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> And then lastly here, I want to show camp here at night with all the green. I did realize something out here in this part of Arizona. We've got a, we've got a lake nearby and uh, keeping this green overhead light on is attracting a bunch of little gnats. And so every time I open the door and close it, they're getting in. So I'm going to close that one off, but we got the RV lit up all green. Nobody to tell me I'm polluting the air with light. I got Black Betty lit up with green here. Kind of dark over here, but Tater Tot is lit up. We've got Babe the Blue Box right here, and Little Moon up there too. As we move closer, I'll show you how my security lights work here. They're always on a little bit. Yeah, when you come in like this, it sets off the light. I've also got a spotlight solar light aimed on the flag at night, and that kind of lights up the driveway a little more here. And then also, if we walk around the door area here, the trailer's got lights on it. The side of the building right here on this side has a light, which will shine this whole area. And then the trailer has this solar light here by this door. And then this dark corner over here also has the same kind of security light. If we walk over here, I guess, there we go. Cool. And then on this side, we got the solar, I forgot what you call these, but they're really bright actually. You can see how much they're lighting up the ground there. So they, they do a pretty good job here uh, lighting this back corner up. All right, got that camping trip coming up hopefully in our next video, guys. I want to close this video out because I got some, I got some happy gummies. It actually says happy gummies from, from in town and I don't want them to kick in here while I'm, while I'm talking to you guys. Have a good night, bye. Whoop.